What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. Today we have a couple things to talk about, really mainly just one thing and then one small thing that's already in the game. First thing I want to talk about here, as you'll see by the thumbnail of the video, is there is going to be an original costume design contest going on. So, they did this for, um, what is it called, Alicization Licorice, which still isn't out yet, obviously, but they basically... They put out a tweet or whatever, and they basically give you a hashtag to reply to with artwork that you make for the specific characters. So you can make artwork for either Kirito, Alice, Yu-Gi-Oh, or Adis. And they're basically going to choose one to make into a character for the game. So um, this campaign goes until the 30th of this, of this month. So this obviously isn't going to be something where we're going to see these units anytime soon. Um, these units, honestly, these designs may not even be used until the one year anniversary, uh, with how long, because obviously even after so they pick someone's artwork, they have to actually make the design for the character in game for like a seasonal type thing. So I expect probably around the one year anniversary would be around when we would see this. But, um, so yeah. So if you are an artist, if you're someone who, or even, you don't even have to be like an amazing artist, you could literally draw a simple design of what you want the character to be wearing, and you know, they might pick yours. I assume they're going to pick one for each character, so I assume there's going to be four submissions. Um, so they'll pick one for Kirito, one for Alice, one for Yujo, and one for Adis. I assume they'll be split probably into two banners, like maybe we'll see Kirito and Yujo on one banner with whatever outfits they get, and maybe Alice and Adis on the other. Or maybe they'll mix it up and put, um, like, how they're kind of laid out right here. Kirito, Alice, and Yujio and Adis. Uh, you never know. So, that'd be pretty cool there. So, I urge anyone who wants to kind of design their own thing for the game to definitely enter this. I'd be very interested to see what kind of things people uh, come up with. But, remember, you, you have to tweet. You don't have to tweet specifically on this thread. You just tweet yourself. You have to tweet with the hashtag... Uh, hashtag S-A-O-A-R-S contest. So uh, it's obviously going to be happening on the Japanese version of the game too. So they'll pick between English and Japanese. Um, hopefully they don't just pick only JP players for the four designs that they go with. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool thing. I think it's a pretty cool thing. So if you do end up drawing artwork, make sure you use that hashtag. And uh, it'll be interesting to see who wins and what designs they decide to go with. Like I said, they did do this for uh, Alicization Licorice as well. So some designs for uh, that game actually made it into the game, which is pretty cool. Um, and the only other thing to really talk about is they have this banner up. A, a lot of people have been complaining about this. I personally don't see it as an issue, and I've said this a lot between my Crestoria talk and everything. These gacha games are free to play. Like, you don't have to pay anything. You just go to the store and you download it. So, of course, they're going to have... Pay a lot of gacha games have paid-only stuff. Like, yes, there are some that are, like, super popular that don't have to rely on that. You know, like Dragon Ball and Naruto gacha games, for the most part. They can pretty much... Any banner that comes out, it can just be free-to-play. But this isn't even a banner. This is a select ticket. Pretty much what we have here is a choosable select ticket. Um... Where there's a certain pool of characters. I think it ends at uh, Sinon right here. This one right here. The newer uh, Solus. And you can pretty much choose any unit up to that point. Now the ticket for the character is $40. Or whatever your currency is going to be wherever you play. And then the one for the weapon. It's a similar thing. You get to choose any weapon you want. Which I'm actually thinking about picking up this one. I'm not going to pick up the character one. Because most of the characters in there I have. But I'm definitely considering picking up the weapon one because I would love to have another rapier. Or uh, now that I've pulled Sin on, um, I might actually grab a gun. But um, other than that, um, I, I really don't see it. the price point is a little high. Um, it's forty dollars for the character, and then the ticket for the weapon is twenty dollars. I think they should just both be twenty dollars. I get a character is more valuable than a weapon, but I don't know. I feel like they should be the same price point. But other than that, I don't think it's really that bad of a deal. Because you're essentially getting to choose any character you want up until like three months ago, two months ago. Um, it's really only meant for whales. So it's not meant for your casual player who like maybe spends five to ten bucks here and there. Um, so 
If that doesn't apply to you, I wouldn't even worry about it. It's like I said, it's really not a huge deal. Like, yes, would it have been nice to get a free one? Of course. You know, everyone would have loved it. You know, six month anniversary, give us a free ticket. Cool. But uh, that seems a little too generous, especially with all the stuff we've been getting. We've been getting all these retweet campaigns with all these diamonds they've been giving us. We, the last, like, seven or eight banners, we've been getting free multis. So I, I think they've been pretty generous overall, despite my horrible luck um, and the fact that I still think that there should be a change in how the gotcha system is handled. Um, they have been pretty generous in terms of how much they've actually been giving out. So that's pretty much the two things I wanted to go over. We have the original costume design contest. So if you are an artist or just someone who wants to draw anything, uh, definitely give this a shot. Um, and then, of course, we have this. If you are a paid player, uh, definitely throw uh, your stuff in this. And here's the thing. SAO isn't a game that really needs to rely on this too much because obviously SAO is really popular both over here and over there in Japan. Um... But I would definitely expect stuff like this in Tales of Crystoria. You know, maybe a selectable SSR. To, unrelated, you know, but for people who watch all my content, not just SAO. Tales being a much more niche thing over here. I could definitely see them doing, like, guaranteed SSR uh, multis or, like, tickets that you can buy. But uh, I guess it would have been nice if they, for this, just make it, like, you know, maybe it's, like, uh, 125 and you get the free, uh, you get the ticket here, and then 250, you get to choose one of the four stars, like a one-time only type thing, but it is what it is, they're gonna do what they're gonna do, I suppose. Um, but that's pretty much it. Not really too much else to go over here. I will have my video, um, probably in the next day or two on the ranking event, I'm still fine-tuning my team. Um, the level 90 stage is kicking my butt, so I have been having a little bit of trouble with that. But uh, it seems like the level 80 stage is kind of where I'm going to want to go anyway, because I've got my highest score from doing it on that. But um, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you are going to submit a, uh, a thing. And if you are submitting, feel free to tweet it at me as well. My Twitter link is down below. I'd love to see everyone's artworks that they are designing for the game. I would love to just kind of see what everyone's kind of throwing out there. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.